Yeah, I did it. I started up my own electric truck manufacturing company. Going to be taking old classic trucks from the 60s and 70s and building retrofit kits for them so you can take an old truck and make it electric. And of course, because I'm stealing Tesla's ideas, call the company Edison. Edison Motors, stealing Tesla's idea. I mean, I'm probably going to need a lawyer on that name and slogan for the company, but that's what we're going with. I actually incorporated this company back in October, but it did take a few months to figure out exactly what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, and whether we could feasibly do it or not before I released it. Look, here's some of the incorporation documents. They actually gave us the name Edison Motors. Like, nobody took that. It's mine now. I and everything. The plan here is to manufacture these trucks as electric diesel hybrids. Diesel engine powering a battery that goes to electric motors, like a freight train would use. That way you have the fuel availability with the diesel, the reliability and the torque of the electric. It's the best of both worlds and it makes total sense. Diesel electric are what locomotives run, plus the new D11 cats, and large haul trucks. It makes sense to use this system for heavy haul logging trucks and even just highway trucks. You can run your diesel engine at peak RPM for maximum efficiency. You have batteries that can regen the power you get going downhill. And you have insane amounts of torque. Why would you not do that? There's fewer moving parts, it, less drive line, less components. It makes sense. The other thing we're doing at Edison is to take trucking back to a simpler time. No more planned obsolescence. No more fancy computer things that need a $40,000, $50,000 computer to diagnose. It's a simple truck. It's going to be simple to repair. We're going to make sure we use the most cost-effective, longest-lasting parts. And it's not going to nickel and dime things. There's reasons that these trucks get 3, 4 million miles, that they're on the, still on the road 60 years later. It's because they built trucks to last. They don't do that anymore, and I'm going to bring that back with my own company. Before you say, Chase, you can't start your own truck manufacturing company. Remember, a year and a half ago, I sketched out a 100% solar light tower... Now my light tower is with thinning. This year and a half, we went from an idea sketched on the back of a pizza box to two shops making these things. So don't say I can't make an electric truck. Plus, we got a great team of guys. I mean, just look at part of the team here. We got Eric Little, a little bit of Eric on TikTok. He is an engineering genius. We got Brad, a truck driver with tons of experience in the logging industry. We got Cooper, who is a mechanical engineering guru. We got this. Plus, we got Heavy Hall and Fool. We got Ray Mackin, who's an engineer down in Vancouver. We've got engineers all over the place. We're going to figure this out. We're going to get this truck done because I'm tired of shitty electric vehicles.